what's going on guys i'm back here with a quick unboxing and a little we'll do a little test too so i went to walmart looking for something to buy very cheap didn't want to spend much money found this now i seen a youtube video of these and i was a bit surprised on the speed so i seen it for 10 i believe it was 9.99 and uh i said i'll give it a shot so it only takes four double a's and it has a little uh rechargeable battery um inside it charges right off of it just like the other little car i opened up a while back um let me let me go ahead and grab that all right so this is the one that i opened up a while back pretty cool little car very hyper and uh, when I was looking at the videos, I wanted to see it in action. And I was actually surprised that it was doing kind of good. Now, I, I'm not going to go to the lake, guys, because I just can't do that right now. But I have like a little uh, tub of water. You know, I'll try to see what it does. Um, just to give a little example, because I'm I am buying a boat this summer. And I will be doing some uh, boat video soon um just not right now so we'll take a look at the box i wish i would have got that one red one doesn't look too bad the style of the red one looks pretty cool too this blue one looks more like simple doesn't look really too racy so if you look at that we got forward left right and reverse 2.4 uh, 25 feet sorry about that and uh, precision RC control so 2.4 and uh, the side has the red bolt side has the blue bolt this is the one we have and that's pretty much it underneath will tell you how many batteries you need I believe it will Right here is where it tells you your batteries. So you just need four double A's. I got those already, guys. Let's go ahead and get this open. Got the knife here. Let's go ahead and uh, get this little guy opened up. is not too bad it's got a little bit of color to it and uh, adventure force should be pretty good because uh, adventure force is uh, they do a lot of rebranding of wall toys uh, let's see here what do we got the transmitter they used to sell this a while back with the actual um bigger antenna so now if we look at these this one looks a little better and it's the same exact style does um see that it's got the little jst so you pop that into the boat and the boat is connected underneath here see that so i'm gonna cut through that real quick So that's out of the way, and here's the bolt itself. So I put this. So this is how you charge it. You're charging. Put that back there. Shut the door. And you got your um, up, down, left, left and right, right and left, uh, on and off here. Uh, very simple. When you turn on the remote, um, it turns on. Um, I believe that light is on and then when you're charging it this light will turn on so you just pop that in here and you're good to go very simple this is not nothing your battery is going here so I thought I had a screwdriver right here but I guess I do So, I'll just go ahead and uh, unscrew that. So, 
since I'm gonna put batteries in right now, and I want them in there actually now, so. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, tighten this up. It's already on, turn it off. So when you turn it on, this one lights up. When you're charging the bolt itself, this one will light up. But you have to have the remote. The transmitter has to be on. So now let's go over here. Um, look at the little bolt itself. Feels pretty cool. Um, see that right there, guys? That That's a water sensor. So when you get this thing, it will not um, turn on. It won't turn on. These things won't spin. Unless it knows water it can fill the water then it'll turn on but the little boat itself feels pretty good it's not too heavy it's about the right uh, weight level you would want a boat to be you know and it looks pretty cool i like it so let's go ahead and uh, it's just a little boat i mean i don't really need to show it off too much i mean So that's how you charge it. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this charge, guys. And uh, after that, oh wow! So this is your um, your your uh, where you trim it at. See that? So that thing you move it, and it moves this here little sail panel thing I'm not a bolt person so I don't know what the correct slang is for those or the correct word for it but uh you got your two little motors here your little propellers and it's very simple very simple boat so I think it's just a simple toy and I think it's just uh, pretty cool looking if it if it goes as fast as i think it was it's gonna go it's gonna be really cool because uh i seen a video and it was like wow that was pretty decent so let this charge up guys and um i'm gonna go out here take this out here to the other room and uh we'll put it in that little tub of water and see what happens all right guys i'm out here this is the best i can do all the rest of my tubs are kind of uh being used up right now so here's the little boat guys remember um right here remember when you first put it in the water you want to make sure your trim is correct so that right there moves the trim so this will move this piece here causing the boat to go in any direction you choose you can have it going left all the time or right all the time you know or you can have it right in the center so it goes straight and um, and those two little uh, sensors are for the water so let's go ahead and get it started I'm gonna go ahead and put it in there so it won't move guys so you got to put it in the water so there it is in the water and that's what I noticed it it was like not too bad look at that guys right? and that's just churning and it goes reverse too, so you can't get stuck. And that's like maxed out. But seeing this thing go straight, it actually went pretty fast. So this is cool. I like this. You know what guys? This 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 calls for a battery hack right here. Um I have a five cell battery that's little, like a little five cell, five watt battery, five volt. I need to get that and put it in there. Yeah, this is actually pretty cool. Look at how smooth. It's not even loud, neither. Quiet. That is actually not bad at all. That's reverse. I mean, this is really not bad at all, guys. I really need get a bigger tub or something to play around on it's not too bad I 
not not bad at all. It's very uh, peaceful. So it's not a bad little boat. At least it works pretty good. You can see that if it were to go straight, it would go pretty fast. Look at that. Not, it doesn't go super slow, but I mean super fast, but it, it gets, it's not bad. I seen boats go slow, guys, like really slow. This is actually not bad. Um, you know, it really does count too on the way you buy it. Like I seen the other one, it was more like a sport one. And it did, it went fast and it even splashed out water and stuff. It was actually pretty awesome. But this right here is a battery hack all the way, all the way. Even um, putting a little tiny ESC in there and putting a seven volt light bulb, man, that thing would be awesome. This, but that's just too much work. You would have to change out everything. But for just put another battery in there, it should be all right. Something just a little bit stronger than this. But it does. It, it, I like the way it goes forward. It goes forward quietly and quick. Let's see. Not bad, guys. Not bad at all. I definitely recommend this little guy. Um, I'm probably going to buy another one. I'm going to buy the sportier one. See what it what it does I need to open this up and uh, check to see what the battery looks like see if I can uh, boost it up or not I need to buy two of them so that way if I do fry it out by trying to hook a lipo to it a 7.4 lipo that way I just have another one because this is definitely worth a battery hack anything to get more speed you know maybe even the propellers I don't know you can do some things there are boat hacks out there too I've seen them so that's pretty much the end of this one guys I don't want to take too long on this one but it is a cool little boat I, I got stuck playing around with it so that's pretty much the end of this one the Adventure Force little ten dollar bulk guys not bad just remember it won't work if you uh, don't put it in the water first so you won't it's it's kid proof very nice boat not bad at all so thanks a lot for watching guys and uh, I'll be back with some more RC stuff. So thanks a lot for watching.